Do you believe that the league should appeal? Oh, yeah. I think they have to. I, I think the suspension and the lack of financial fine is uh, massively low. Uh, when you read the report from Sue L. Robinson and her findings, it's hard to sit there and hear the words that she uses to describe um, the behavior and sit there and think that 33% of the season is enough and $340,000 is enough. And I think that um, you can get yourself into danger. This is for any situation when you try to play to a certain you know, person and or group. I think it's just the right thing to do. And I think the NFL, who has um, in many times of the past – fumbled situations like this and not done enough in situations um, in, in this same realm, I want to say. Um, this is the opportunity for them to make it right. They've given themselves a three-day window to sit there and go, is this who we really want to be? Is Because the public outcry so far has been pretty intense. And if they don't appeal, I think it becomes even more intense because of the findings. This is strictly not my opinion. This is the findings in reading the words that Sue L. Robinson used when she uses the words egregious and predator. It's hard for us to sit here. It's, at least it's hard for me to sit here and think that the NFL can be okay as human beings, as husbands, as fathers to girls, as brothers to sisters, as sons to moms, and sit there and go, oh, we're okay with this. We, we think that six games and a $340,000 loss of salary – is enough. So I don't think they have any other choice but to sit there and go, we have to appeal and we have to push for what they have publicly, or at least to the reports have said, a year-long suspension. It's the right thing to do is, um, I think you're right. But I think Tony Busby, we saw earlier, nailed it, and they're handling it as a PR crisis because they care about the bottom line, and they handle all these things as PR crises. And I would love to live in a world where um, companies did things because, or I guess in this place, in, in this situation, more like a cartel or a collection of companies did things because it was the right thing to do, but that's not why. They do things, and part of this process that has been really effective for the NFL is they've changed the process in this way. Previously, what would happen is Roger Goodell would send down a punishment, and then we'd spend this time criticizing Roger Goodell before he could then come back and readdress what's happening. They've kind of made it seem like it was a real big change to the process, but they have not changed the process. They just made it so that out here we can complain about how Judge Robinson messed all of this up, and then Roger sure. Goodell can come in on his white horse afterwards and given us three days and given them three days to gauge the public reaction, then he can come in on his white horse and fix all this. To the point that you made, Dan, yeah, they kind of have to because they've put it out there that they wanted a year or that they were willing to settle at um, 12 games. So they kind of put themselves in a situation where they stand with us is what they want us to believe. And if they don't follow that up with an appeal and a harder punishment, then uh, it feels like they've just pay, paid a bunch of lip service to the things that they say that they want to represent. Yeah. It's a lose-lose situation for the NFL, no matter what they decide to do. Because if you do appeal it, People are going to rejoice that Watson is going to get a stiffer punishment. But you're also cutting out the legs of Sue Robinson and the third party that you agreed upon with the NFLPA back in 2020 that you no longer were going to be the decision maker in these investigations, that a third party was going to review, conduct interviews, create their own findings, and ultimately come to a decision. So if you appeal it, which most people think that you should because you have to take a harder stance, a stronger stance on sexual misconduct, you then are saying, well, what's the point of the process? Because it's now moot. And players are going to say, wait a second. Now all the power falls back to the feet of Roger Goodell. And he gets to make the final decision and have the final say of what happens in these kind of investigations. So I understand where the NFLPA and players are going to be upset if they do appeal it. Because we're just reverting back to 2020. Now, if you don't appeal it, what you're essentially telling a decent faction of your fan base, male and female, is that can, you continue to reaffirm the belief that you don't care about women. And that sexual misconduct, nonviolent or violent, sexual harassment, sexual assault, nonviolent or violent, doesn't really seem to matter to you. Six games is the standard. And I quite frankly don't mind Sue Robinson's decision because she's purely basing it off of precedent. If you have an ax to grind with someone in the league, you look in the mirror. 
Right. Because what you've done in the past in your investigations and your findings has all resulted to a standard bar at six games being the range that we look at for situations like this. Sue Robinson said, I understand you want a year, but that's not in your policy. That's not the precedent that you've set. So I'm going to find it based on everything that's happened in the past because I think that's fair to Deshaun Watson, even though his behavior is weird and gross and should not be tolerated. But as a league, you have to make these decisions for yourself and change your policy. At some point, and this might be unfortunate timing for Deshaun Watson, but I have a hard time feeling sorry for him because he put himself knowingly in these situations to act as a predator towards women in multiple scenarios. At some point, the league has to say, enough is enough. Correct. We need to raise our hand and say, you know what? We got it wrong in the past. Correct. We haven't punished people severely enough in the past as Correct. it pertains to violence against women or any kind of gender violence. And we can do better. And you know what? Sorry, Deshaun, but you put yourself in those situations. You're now the example. And we're moving forward with a more stringent policy. And this is not the standard that we are going to uphold our players to. So I say appeal it, and yes, you will have some fallout for saying, well, what's the point of the process that we've created since 2020? You can deal with that fallout, but the fallout of not appealing it and allowing six games to be the standard, continue to be the standard, is going to be significantly worse. Yeah. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.